the first thing we want to do is to install the Font Awesome 5 icon font. If we look in our code editor, we see that we have this basic installation of Bootstrap. So we have the reference to our CSS file here and the JavaScript files here, jQuery and the Bootstrap bundle JavaScript file. We see it over here to the left. We also have one profile image. For the title, we'll just fill in the text resume and CV dash Jebe Schaumburg Jensen. Okay, now we'll go into the browser to fontawesome.com. Here we can click the big white download free button to try out the free version of Font Awesome. If you download this, you'll find this zip file here, which we can unzip. Inside this, we want to look in the folder SVG with JS since we want to use the SVG version of Font Awesome. And then in the JS folder, we can find fontawesomeall.min.js. This has all the available free icons in a minified version. We'll drag this into our JS folder here. And now we can close this and just delete these two again. Back in our code editor, we'll see that we have the font awesome all.min.js file here. We want to reference this file in our head tag. So I'll just create this comment font awesome JS. And below that, we create the script tag and we add the defer attribute and then the source attribute with the value being js slash font awesome slash all dot min dot js and we'll close the script again. If we go back to font awesome's website, we can click on the icons tab and we can see all the available icons. We can also click how to use to see how to use this. We need to use some kind of element and give it some classes. The first class is the general class where S is the solid type of icons, FAS. We could also use FAB for brand icons. This will make sense later on. And then we need to add the specific class for the icon that we want to use. When we do this, Font Awesome will exchange this HTML with this that we see down here. So it will insert an SVG file or image into the page using JavaScript. Okay, so let's try and copy this into our page in the body here. We'll save and then we'll open this. Now we can see we have the camera icon. So we now know that everything is working. All right. This was how to install the Font Awesome 5 icons. You'll learn more about how to use this in the upcoming videos.